Hi everybody, this is Julie from designsbyjuju.com and in this video I am going to show you how to download your files and specifically your fonts from our website, how to unzip them, and um, how to find your BX fonts. So right now I am logged into my account on my website designsbyjuju.com and when you're logged in, you'll see welcome and your name at the top of your screen. I am going to go over here. I have a lot of, um, well, pretty much all of my designs in my account because I go to test things, etc. So I'm going to click on my downloads. When you click on your downloads, everything that you have purchased from our website is in this long list. And just so you know, um, you can do type in via SKU or keywords. So our rule the school applique. I'm gonna go and type rule the school. And if you know you purchased that set, it will come right up and then you can download. Just a little hint for you. Um, also, um, when you go to, um, I'm going to reset my filter here. Okay. And I'm going to go down here for a second. Okay. Just relax was, um, DBJJ 1493. If you knew that, um, you know, you purchased 1493, then you would just type that in and search and it will pop right up. So this is just a little hint for you. So right now I'm going to reset and I'm going to search for some embroidery fonts because I want to download those and show you how. Actually, nothing's called embroidery fonts. It's called font. So let's do that again. There you go. All right. So um, let's find a font. Life is great script or Justin. Let's see. I never know what font to choose. Never know. Um, let's do Bubble Mania. So I want to download this Bubble Mania font onto my desktop. So I'm going to click the download button on the right. And you could click all formats. And if you click all formats, it's going to download all of these. Okay. Um, you could choose just your machine format. So if you use a brother or a baby lock machine and want to click download just the PES files, you can do that. But be advised that that is going to give you all of the individual stitch files. Um, or if you want to download just the BX files and those are for use in a brilliant software, you can do that. Right now, I'm going to download just the BX files. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to save it as, um, I'm going to save it on my desktop, Bubble Mania BX. And what's important to notice, this downloaded pretty quickly because I only downloaded that one format. But let's go to just another font real quick and download all formats. Because I just want you to see that it takes a little bit longer. And depending on your internet speed, um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of files in these fonts because you've got every format, every size, and with the alphabet and uppercase and lowercase and numbers and characters, it's just a lot, a lot of files. So let's click all formats and I'm going to save that also to my desktop. Okay, save. So you'll see this happens pretty quick down here in the, in the bottom. But it wasn't as fast as just downloading the BX format. And sometimes, for whatever reason, um, it could be slower. But and I, honestly, I've moved to the country now and I have a pretty slow connection. But you can see how fast um, that downloaded. Now, I'm going to minimize the screen. I'm going to go to my desktop and we can see that um, the Bubble Mania BX. To unzip your files, you want to right click on the icon or on the file and you'll see something here about the third thing down called extract all. Um, if you have another unzipping program, you might see something else, but I have extract all in every Windows computer since Windows XP. So 
I don't even know if anybody's running Windows XP anymore. Microsoft doesn't support it. So everybody has this ability built into your computer. So you have a zipped file, you right click on it, click extract all, and you'll see this little wizard and I just click extract and it has um, just unzipped everything for me. So if I was to close this, um, then over here you'll see the bubble mania and it's been unzipped. So this is the files that I want to use. Okay. So, um, for the BX, you'll see a folder inside and all of your BX, um, files are here and you'll see they have a needle with like a little arrow. Um, they usually say, uh, they don't say like BX, they usually say embroidery installer. I'm trying to, there we go. It would say embroidery installer file for the file type. And then there's a PDF in here that just explains to you about um, RBX fonts and how to install them and how to run the free version of Embrilliance Express. And we have a video on how to access that. It's on our YouTube channel and I will link to it below. So. When this Bellamo font, when I go to extract that, I'm going to right click, extract all, and follow the wizard. It's going to take a little bit because of, I told you there's like a lot of files, every format, every size, um, uppercase, lowercase numbers. So you can see that it's taking some time here. Now, say this, depending on the um, health and speed of your computer, this could take a little bit longer to unzip the files um, if you've downloaded all formats for your font. So I want to show you something while this is unzipping in the background. You can see this here. You can see that it's already looks like it's been unzipped. So I'm going to double click that. And you can see here, I only have some of the designs. Um, it hasn't fully unzipped. It's taking its time. It's more and more showing up. You might get a, um, you know, if you try to open a file that's unzipping and you try to open it too soon, you might get an error message. So really make sure that your files have completely downloaded and completely unzipped before you try to use them. We are just almost finished and everything has completely unzipped and you can see all of the formats are included. Um, our terms and copyright, um, the thumbnails, you can see a design card here and up here you can see that BX for use in Imbrilliance is one of our options. Okay. So there are many ways, um, that you can download and I'm going to go back to my account on the website to show you a couple of other things. If you access your orders. Any, the order should be in the, um, from newest to oldest, you can view your order and then we can go to download and you have all of your options, all formats or the machine format that you require. Um, and then again, in my downloads, you can search by your product name or your SKU or a keyword. And this is just one long, um, I'm going to show 50 per page and um, you have it all in a list here and then you also can um, do your search and that can save you a lot of time. So I hope that this video was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at designsbyjuju.com. The best way to contact us is through our website. You go to help, contact us, and then we have a little form down here. You can, um, if it's a question or a comment, help troubleshooting. If you have help troubleshooting, you can um, fill in the information, even include some files, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.